And so the video begins at one of the most iconic and classic roadside attractions in all of the state of New Jersey. Hello, Mrs. Claus. Hello, Santa. It's time to get our Christmas on here at Storybook Land. And people have come from miles around just like me and they're in line to enter Storybook Land. It opens at two o'clock. Check out the soldiers here and the giant ornaments as you enter the castle, the main entrance of this classic, iconic, very vintage roadside attractions. These are the restrooms over here, right there. But there is the main entrance. I am so stoked to be going in here today. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. And speaking of first times, it's our first time here, myself, here at Storybook Land. Chris the girl, your first time here as well? My first time here as well. We're hanging out again today, checking out another theme park in this vicinity. Yesterday we were at Hershey Park. Yep. Today we're in New Jersey. We're just gonna document our experience. We're gonna head inside here and uh, give you the rundown, what's going on, and most importantly, we're just gonna have fun. Oh, yeah. Together, you, her, I, all together, let's have a good time. There's much ahead, my friends. So much ahead. Let's get in there, you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. All right, so we're all paid up. General admission is about 27 bucks a piece. Actually, for two of us, it came out with tax and all. 63.86. All right, Chris already made it outside. This is this is my first time inside the park. This is the greatest place I've ever been to. In my oh life. my gosh, look at it. Wow. Wow. Santa right there with a the reindeer in the tree. I see a, like a teacup thing going over there. Who is this over here? Oh yes, that might be Mother Goose maybe? Yes, that is Mother Goose. There's a goose right there, dead giveaway. This is so awesome. And oh, look at these ice cream seats. And tables and chairs over here. Mr. Fry Guy, popcorn. There's just something to see here. <laughs> Everywhere. And we've just begun, we're just coming in. All right, we're gonna go all over the park and later when the lights go down, it's gonna, it's gonna shine Christmas out here. Oh, yeah. Christmas with lights is what they're calling it. Yes, I'm excited. In between the candy canes, we go to Storybook Land. Hello, Mother Goose. That is so cool. And just past Mother Goose is this giant birthday cake. Look at this thing. It's a birthday cake gazebo. Lots of candles up there. Now this is wacky, I love it. A lot of fairy tale things going on here today. And a lot of wacky things. And there's look, clown trash cans over there. And over here is a place called the Dining Depot. Looks like you can get some food in there. Chris is checking out the Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> yeah, that was frightening. And across from this gingerbread family in the birthday cake, they have Ben Franklin's generating station. Chris was just pointing out that Ben Franklin is actually inside here with his kite and powering the whole place with these generators. I like how they did that there. They, they, made, it, they made it fun. Santa Claus will wave his magic wand and light the park with over one million lights Whoa. for the holiday season. That's a lot of lights. The Christmas fantasy with lights will take place at Santa's house at five o'clock today. At Santa's house. Just a reminder. Five o'clock, right there. Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus will be on break from 4.30 to five. Everyone needs a break. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stick my hand in here. It doesn't sound like I should though. <laughs> Idea. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nothing happened. And we've only just begun. The Storybook Land Christmas tree is very massive and you can walk right underneath it. Walk right through it. All right, you want to walk through this Christmas tree with me? Yes. You go first. Okay. All right, here we go. Whoa, I'm sure when these lights come on, it's going to be really cool. Yeah, it's going to be really, really cool. But we did it. Oh, penguins! Now, I don't remember these penguins from any kind of storybook, but they kind of look like, yeah, kind of like the penguins of Madagascar a little bit. I like them, especially this guy right here. I like the blue. All right, just for perspective purposes, there's a railway that comes through here. We're heading back this way. There's a moat and several bridges. It is a beautiful day out here, and this park is huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought just looking at it 
from the road. We're, there is so much to see here today and tonight. What is this? This looks cool. The sign says it is Goosey Gander's Castle, and it is the home of these geese over here in the corner. They're over there keeping warm. There's an actual goose right there, right before the castle. That's, that's pretty cool. It looks like there's a Christmas display over here in this house. I see some stuff going on. Oh, red buttons. I'm gonna push this red button right below. Let's see what happens. They're ice skating, a bunch of kids ice skating right there. And then over here, there's another button. Look at these. What are these? I hit the button, nothing happened there. And here's another button. Oh, these are cool. They're very old. There you go. Walking in a winter wonderland. I like that. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Very vintage looking. Kind of reminds me of a character from the haunted mansion there in the corner. Yeah, it does. He just needs a dog. He just needs a dog and a lantern. And right next to that display, Santa's workshop in here. These elves are hard at work. Hard to see for the glare. There you go. This guy. Oh, he's focused. He's got. He's got a look on his face he's very determined on what he's doing right now although he's not looking down at what he's making <laughs> and that guy's just sawing away all right good job and i came around the corner looking through this way santa is actually in there holding the christmas tree in the workshop and there's some reindeer the reindeer are working normally the reindeer are like in the shed eating but they're they're working today and there's a train inside there as well Writing, that one's writing. His his the pencil is through its hoof actually. If oh, see. that that looks yeah, painful. So they are yeah they're they're putting them to work uh, oh. here up at the, in the North Pole in New Jersey. <laughs> in New I Jersey, mean. they work hard in New Jersey. <laughs> okay, I've been to a lot of theme parks during Christmas, but I've never actually seen a sleigh ride. That is adorable. And that it's oh. snowing in there. It, is it snowing it's in there? It's snowing in there. Just look close. You can see the snow flurries. What's this thing called? Santa's Fantasy Flights. That is adorable. And right behind that sign, we've got like a classic steam engine called Eclipse that sits before an area called Work Zone. You should hop on that thing. Pennington. Paving Incorporated, Vineland, New Jersey. Does that have a horn? No. Nope. No pedals either. No so pedals. I'm not going very <laughs> No. It looks good though. Yes. And Work Zone is an actual attraction. Here they come. This is the best angle we could find to show you. Honk, honk. Oh, you can actually honk the horn. And these fellas right here, they're working hard. This one's just hanging on this traffic light here. This is so cool, this is wacky, I love it. Oh, now he's waving. They're all waving. Now these displays are very patriotic and I believe is I believe I see a Phillies logo right there and he, he is holding a baseball bat. So as the storybook goes right in front of these statues, this is Phil and Phyllis. These two iconic statues are Phil and Phyllis, the official mascots of the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Phillies from 71 to 78, and they now sit here at Storybook. That is pretty cool, I had no idea. And also there's some bleachers that were from that stadium, and Chris and I actually passed the Philadelphia Phillies Stadium on our way here. We passed through Philadelphia. Pretty cool. And they have old timey cars here. And this fox over here, he's just hanging out by the, by the moat. And there's a sign over here, it says, run, run fast as you can, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And there's the gingerbread man right there. Look at him, oh, that is fun, that is wacky. Oh, I love him, I love the gingerbread man. Not my gumdrop buttons. And right here, just behind the gingerbread man, you have Bubbles the Coaster. He's a dragon, and he's not a dragon, he's going pretty fast, actually. Chris was saying that that's an iconic coaster to this park. What I understand. Yeah, and close by there's actually another dragon, but he's swimming through the moat just before that covered bridge over there. And here's the classic.
cars ride. I know the look at it. Look at it. I want. I wanted to show you that they actually have a big boy here, right out there along the road, as you're driving the old timey classic cars. So again, expect a lot of footage here in this video because it's our first time here. We wanted to come out early and see it during the day, but also the Christmas event is happening tonight. So of course we're gonna we're gonna document all the Christmas lights. Yep. Like these over here. Yep. There's an igloo right there. That'll look better at night. Looks pretty cool right now though. It does, yes. Oh look, an archer. I say we found the Sherwood Forest. It looks like Robin Hood. This giant statue is actually outside of the park. This is the perimeter right here, and this looks like maybe a maintenance road right before the train tracks. But yeah, he's sitting over there. He's knocked an arrow and drawn his anchor, I think is the technical terminology for shooting a bow and arrow. And there's also what do the mushrooms have to do with Robin Hood? Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. All right, be careful. There could be a, a wolf walking around here. Well, yeah, you... and I just realized that I'm wearing the wrong color. Yes, jacket. little yellow riding hood yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, be careful. This house is made of wood, not stone. Someone could huff and puff and blow it down. This, this is All right, I'm gonna go in first. Right now. Oh no! Oh, it's okay. Gram, it's a, it's just grandma in here. Grandma's in here. Nothing to fear. Uh, Red Riding Hood's here. I, I'm sure if we push this button, you ready? Yeah. All right. I'm excited. Nothing. Oh, here we go. Hey, grandma. Oh, what teeth you have? What eyes you have? One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother asked her to take a basket It's of the food. whole story. Come in, dear. <laughs> so awesome. Oh, Grandmother, what <laughs> big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, Grandmother, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Oh, Grandmother, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you up, my child. Oh my gosh, it just got but scared. Little Red Riding Hood jumped up and ran quickly out run. of the house through the woods to her house. Run, 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 run! Go, go, come on, come on! And this mouse kind of reminds me of Chuck E. Cheese right in front of the TikTok clock drop, a little drop ride for the kiddos. And it's pretty busy. There's a lot of folks in line right here for the drop shop. Yeah, he looks like Chuck E. Cheese. That's why I started up the camera. I was like, hey. Uh -huh. Taking me back to like showbiz pizza days a little bit here with all the animatronics. Speaking of Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, speaking of Chuck E. Cheese. We gotta go there. We do. We made yeah. a plan. We're gonna go we to Chuck E. Cheese someday. I'll be your partner. All okay. right, okay, let's do it. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse went up the clock and there he goes. Are you waving at him? Yep. <laughs> there he goes. That is so cool. That is adorable. He almost made it. Yeah, he made it to the top. And I just want to say, for as old as this park is, it is kept very well. It is very nice. Also, they have a classic carousel up here at the front. And some other rides for the kiddos over here as well. There's the perimeter wall. The entrance is right over there. We're kind of doing a loop-de-loop before we go all the way around the park. And we're heading back in that direction to the rest of the park. And over here, there's cool trash cans. Oh, this is wacky. I love it. Right before the boys in the girls' room. What's she checking out over here? What are you looking at? Puppets. What? I found puppets. Oh, puppets? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Christmas puppets, too. Yeah. This is adorable. Yeah, it's really cute. Wow. Oh, you just hit the button right there. Whoa. I love this place. And look at this adorable looking teapot in the woods. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, there is my spout. Knocking on the door of tea. Oh, there's someone in there making. Oh, it's a concession stand. Oh, okay. I almost walked right in. And the teapot actually belongs to Mistress Mary. And this is her garden goodies, funnel cake and popcorn and hot chocolate. And here she is right here, Mistress Mary herself trying to, uh, looks like she's trying to water her flowers down here, these beautiful Christmas flowers, in front of the concession stand. That is so cool. 
I love this place. I'm having so much fun just looking at all this stuff. This is great. Right, Mistress Mary? <laughs> the three little pigs. This is one of my favorites. The three little pigs are anxiously awaiting the return of the big bad wolf to fall into the big copper kettle of boiling hot water. There's the big bad wolf right there out back of the house made of straw which the first pig made and then the second pig a little a little smarter the house made of wood and sticks and then the smartest one of them all made his house of bricks and here they are right here this one made his house of straw this one of sticks and this one of bricks and he did a good job because it is still going right here and they're all inside partying, playing the violin, it looks like the flute, and the, the one there, he's still working. He's, he, he's still working on the house. He's got a brick in hand, and also there's a, a chimney and an old, ooh, an old clock right there. This is pretty cool. Oh, I think it, I think I have to hit this button again. There it goes. All right. <laughs> also, there's an accordion at their feet. I'm recording these pigs. Watch out, the big bad wolf is right there. I think actually I prefer that one to the one in the To the one we saw before? Right. You like this one better? Uh, yeah, I would take that one over the other one. Yeah, he's, he's less scary. He looks yeah. more like a wolf. Yeah. That looks scary behind you. Yeah, it does. Well, I'm not writing it. <laughs> and welcome to the busy world of Richard Scary. No, I'm just kidding. It kind of reminds me of that. If you remember that show on, on Nick Jr. when you were kids. Little Red Schoolhouse. And it is exactly what it says. It's a little red schoolhouse there, are you going in okay all right here we go they legitimately have like old desks in here that probably used to be in a legit schoolhouse not saying this isn't legit but there he is mr washington above the chalkboard we went through valley forge on the way here all right school's in session take take your seats class take your seats class my name is mr TJ, they don't have chalk, and we're here to learn about vlogging. <laughs> Chapter one, open your book up, your textbooks. Number one rule in vlogging is, first, you just gotta smile and have fun. That's it, that's the whole thing. All right, class dismissed. All right, Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Okay, here's Mary. Where's the lamb? False advertisement. Oh, uh, over there? In there? There's a, there's a real lamb in there. Oh, that is adorable. Good eye, Chris. No false advertisement here. It's feasting. That looks delicious. All right, Mary's little lamb. All right, it's true. I'm not gonna hide it. And we made our way back up to the front entrance. There's Mother Goose. And there's the front entrance and the exit. And we're gonna head back to the far quarter because we missed some stuff. And then we'll go back there and then we'll come back here for when the, the lights, the tree is lit up and we start the Christmas event. And there's Mother Goose again. We walked in so fast I didn't really get an up close shot. Back there is the birthday cake. And Mother Goose is feeding that goose a, a pretty nice portion of food there. It looks, it looks delicious. I don't know what he's eating there, but it looks delicious, almost like a salad. Oh, look at all the gingerbread people. Come on in, we're like one big happy family. I don't have any gumdrop buttons though. No, me either. No? It's all right. All right, let me just get one in. Ah! All right, so much more to see out here. According to this map, we missed a couple things, which we will go back here. We kind of made a turn right here in front of Bubbles. We have this back portion. And also, up here to the right, I see we missed Humpty Dumpty. I see Pinocchio somewhere out here we missed. Yeah, we're gonna go in like the center portion right now. Whoa, now this is cool. You can climb into the belly of a well because this is Moby Dick. Moby Dick is an 1851 novel by Herman Melville about a bold sailor. 
That is so cool. Okay, I think I have to climb in there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Have you ever climbed into a belly of a whale? Not recently, not this week. Not least. this week? All right, here we go. Okay. All right, a lot of room in here. Oh, yeah, there More is. than I thought. Yeah, a lot of room. <laughs> so much room for it. activities. Yeah, there is. Yeah. What's in there? I don't know. There's a little door. Maybe that's where the water controls are that's coming out of the back of the well. Probably. I don't know if we're supposed to be back here. No, we meant, oh, there's, oh, there's, yeah. there's, there's other people in here now. Oh, oh. Are you in the way? There's a light in here. Okay, we did it. Bucket list. Whale list. Let us out, Moby Dick. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. And who do you think they be? Well, I don't know who they are, but they're right here. They're being right here. At the Mary Miller Mill. Chris is checking it out there. I just want to show you the, the three dudes in a tub. All right, Jay and Chris are going up the hill to fetch a pail of water. But there's no water. And you can really see the age of this park. I want to show you this right here in the chain link fence. I know from experience how old this chain link fence is. This is. This is every bit of the 70s or 60s, and I know the park is a lot older than that, but it really shows you, tells you a story about Storybook. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Imagine if he did fall from there. Yeah, not good. There would be a lot of yoke on the ground, but no joke. Storybook land, New Jersey is no yoke. I mean, no joke. And we have Cinderella's pumpkin coach right here look at this that is magical that's a big pumpkin and so neat they have tea time a teacup attraction right here that you can spin around and relive alice in wonderland like the mad hatter at magic kingdom now they actually do have an alice in wonderland walkthrough and it's right behind us. Let's go over there now. And the white rabbit is calling us in a little photo opportunity before Alice in Wonderland. This is neat. Look, we're gonna walk right through. We're gonna go right in through the hole. We got Bunny over here. Oh, we got the white rabbit. Looks like he is missing an ear. He lost an ear. He's very old. Yeah, but that's all right. Okay, this, this already looks, yeah, it looks trippy. Looks like there's a slide here for the kiddos. We're walking down into the ground. This is neat. This is where the slide comes, right here to the left. Oh, a little room here. Oh, I see the key right there. Look at that. And there's all kinds of, the story is told on the walls as it goes. The cookies made Alice grow as big as a house. No, I don't think I'm gonna go that way. I'm a little too big for it. Just making our way through here. It's all black lit. It's very wacky in here. Oh look, I found Alice. There she is. Oh no, she's in jail. <laughs> if I were looking for the white rabbit, I'd ask the Mad Hatter. That, that's some good advice right there. Oh, what a lovely tea party. <laughs> oh, flamingo. Flamingo. I love flamingo. Oh wait, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm glad to be back where things are really what they seem, and said Alice as she woke up from her strange wonderland dream. And we're in a labyrinth of cards. This is neato. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Okay, we are we are legitimately lost. Find our way. I'm just gonna follow the kids. Follow the kids, they yeah. seem to know. And we made it. Got it. That was fun. That was a that was we went underground. I, we did. I didn't expect yeah. to go underground yeah. today. It's very trippy. Very uh, Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Yes. Yeah. And just as you exit the labyrinth over here is Sleeping Beauty's castle. She's in there. And uh, we go in there, but we don't want to wake her up. Not today. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Check it out, Jack and the Beanstalk drop ride. It's just a, it looks like a, a seven seater. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seater drop ride. Jack and the Beanstalk. Yep, that's a cow right there. Bought with a couple of, uh, traded for a couple of beans. 
That was a, a great decision, Jack. Great decision. The old woman in the shoe. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had many children. She didn't know what to do. So what she do? She she closed it and ran away. It you can't go inside. The old woman's shoe. I always thought it looked more like a boot than a shoe, though. But it's exactly like I I, I imagined it. Uh huh. I kind of think of like a Converse shoe. Converse shoe. Like ties up at the top. Yeah, it kind of folds over at the top. It's a Chuck Taylor. Yeah. Now that looks like a good time. Ooh, there's a squirrel on top too. Now I thought he was the uh, Monopoly guy or perhaps the the uh, Planter's Nut guy, you know, with a with a little uh, monocle. Eye, monocle, the eyepiece. But he's very crooked looking, and he's got a crooked cane and a crooked mailbox and a crooked house. Therefore, I believe we're standing before the crooked man. Be careful in there; it's a bit crooked. How's it looking there? Let me guess. It's very, uh, very crooked. Crooked. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, made for children. <laughs> and if you want to see inside the crooked house. You have to subscribe to Chris the girl. Yep. C-R-I-S, because she went in there. Mm -hmm. It's a requirement. You have to do it. <laughs> and it's, it's thrilling, too. It's thrilling. You have to material, go inside so. there. All right, it's in your video. <laughs> All the way from Chicago, we've got Jake Blue. Oh, wait, no, wait. It, it looks like him. No, it's actually Pete Peter Pumpkin Eater. And here's his pumpkins. They're cool. Right there. Right there. All right, see you later, Peter. And we've come to the back far corner of the park, and it looks like during the warmer months, this is where they have like their water park area. There's a lighthouse here, and out there, there's some walkthrough fountains. Now, it looks like they're gonna have some Christmas lights in this area. Again, we'll walk back here once all the lights come on, but there's also a boat ride out there, and it's not operating. Not a, not a real boat ride, but there's an actual boat. It kind of does a a swaying motion like this, and also there's like a submarine ride over that way. Billy Goat Scruff. Now, now look up there. There's an actual Billy Goat on that platform. That is not an animatronic. That is an actual Billy Goat. I am like blown away right now. What's yeah. going on over there? I think the scientific term for the goat is actually goaty goaty goat goats. Goaty goaty uh, goat goats? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll so, go with that. There's a goaty goaty goat gut. Gut goat. <laughs> it is a tongue twister. And Chris was just observing that he is biting the rope. Like he's trying to pull it. Like he knows what's coming. Hurry up. There he comes. Hurry up. Almost there. <laughs> Stay on target. Stay on target. Yay! That is awesome. <laughs> okay, I have confirmation. There, there's a troll right there. Although I don't, I don't see him in there. Maybe, maybe he's uh on break. And for the second night of the row, I'm looking at a deer. Actually, several of them. Oh, I think, I think he heard me. Hi there. How you doing? Hi. He's definitely listening. This is a fallow deer they originated from southern europe and asia and we also have a goose out here i believe this is the one that laid the golden egg boys and girls <laughs> hey goose duck 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 goose and we have a couple of white tailed deer north american white tailed deer couple of dough. So they don't they don't get the buckets here. They no. can slide. Oh, it's, there's a chute. Here. Yep. You put the food into the chute. That's why that deer knows to stay there. Oh, what? Me? Oh. He's eating leaves though. So their tilt-a-whirl is called the turtle twirl and you get inside of a turtle. All right, that's clever. The turtle twirler. All right, this gate just automatically opened up just before the drawbridge. And the siren is sounding because here comes the choo-choo. Hi. Right through the bridge.
<laughs> Waving them on. Good job. <laughs> and it closes automatically. Done. And there's definitely a lot more people here than there was when we first got here. Everyone's piling in for the Christmas lights tonight. Ooh, still much to see. Wait for it. Oh, here they come. Back at the old timers classic car ride. Over here on the roof, Chris pointed out to me, I missed this the first time, we've got, we've got the pet boys. Pet boys, cars like us, people love it. And a very uh, Americana theme over here, right by the exit. Chris was just showing this in her video, but they have every state represented here by license plate. Accurately placed, too. And I almost missed it at the old timey car track, they have an old timey gas station. Sunoco, even. We saw a Sunoco last night at, at Hershey Park. Yep. Where we did the old timey cars. Yep. They, Only... they, uh, they have the theme parks covered, Sunoco. Yeah, they, they do. They really do. I don't think we're going to ride these tonight, though. Nah, not tonight. We did it last night. But if we did, I'd be driving because you drove. That's the deal. That's, That's the, deal. the deal. Next time I'm driving. Yeah. And on the porch, they have an old Pepsi machine right here before the gas pumps and a lot of old vintage signs, very Americana looking. Bing! But wait, there's more. There's the backside of the filling station. Let's look through the window. Oh, it's a Model T. It's an old Ford Model T in there. And here's the old, uh, this is what they used to put motor oil in before plastic. Right there, a good old glass or these metal cans as well. You know, workshop. Almost looks like this was an actual gas station. Some maps for Pennsylvania here too. Oh, that's, there you go. We're not even in Pennsylvania. Oh yeah. We're close to it. Okay, now back at the gingerbread house up at the front of the park because we're hungry. Let's all go to the gingerbread house. I feel like I just went back to the 1980s in here. <laughs> and we ordered lots of food. I got a large thing of waffle fries. We also got some small waffle fries. Chris got the small. I got a hot dog. And what'd you get? Grilled, Grilled cheese? cheese? Grilled yep. cheese. Oh, as it goes out of, went out of focus. Yep, and very large uh, coffees. Yep, two coffees. Yeah. Much needed, it's getting colder out there. And I also went out to the car and got my jacket. Yeah, I'm not used to this cold. Well, I used to be. I'm from Indiana originally. But from Florida now, my blood is thin. Yeah! You know that being good means listening to your parents, it means listening to your teachers, and most importantly, it means getting along with everybody. So, brothers, it's time to get along, it's time to take care of our little sisters. Could you do that for me? I want you to know that before I came up here, I got a call from the North Pole. Everything is moving along. The sleigh is ready. In fact, it's half packed. I like Santa's accent. I was just thinking that, yeah. He's got quite an accent. Yeah, he, I like it. He might, he might be a local. And we're going to be ready to go in just under three weeks. Right. Before we go any further, I think we need a little Christmas magic. I think we do too. Yeah! Oh, he's got his magic wand. One, two, three. Merry Christmas! Oh, wow! Look at this! Christmas is on! Oh, wow. I, I didn't expect all that. Oh, ho, ho! Are you ready to go around the park again? I'm so ready. It looks very magical out here. And look at that Christmas tree now. We walked through it before without the lights on. I think we should walk through it again with the lights on. Wow, it's so magical out here. And the line to meet Santa, the man we just saw, up there on top of the chimney, waved the magic wand, is down in there taking gift request for a very special day coming up very soon. I don't know if we'll make it through the tree. It's pretty popular right now. A lot of people going in, but it is beautiful to see. Look at that star up there, twinkling. And a couple of snowmen over here guarding the igloo. And there's actually little ones coming in and out of the igloo. 
And right over here is the trail. And, uh, even in you can mail uh, Santa a letter right here. And as we're heading that way, if you if you look in there, maybe we can see Santa. I don't know. He's hard to see. He's a popular guy. It's a huge nutcracker out here. Andy, and right here, the Candy Lane Trail up to the Jingle Bell Junction. What's in here? Oh, looks like a train. Look at this. It's a train set. There it goes. We can go inside there too. And there's a there's actually a bunch of buttons down here. You can push. Oh, there's another one up there. Whoa, there's a trolley in the middle. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on the one horse open sleigh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the scariest Christmas tree of all time. And currently playing Silent Night, you have the nativity over here. And it's very awesome because it's all animatronic. They're all moving. Look at that. Even baby Jesus is waving his hands. This place really comes alive at night with the lights, the Christmas lights. It's a totally different theme park. Look at the moat now. Lights all the way down each side of the moat there. Twinkling, red, white, and blue. And over here against the wall, you have the giant soldier lighting the cannon. Pow! Bam! <laughs> That's pretty cool. One more time. Here he goes. Bam! Wow, this is cool. Okay, we just saw them last night at Hershey Park, but we have Santa's eight reindeer over here. Chris is checking them out. She's, she's excited. I see her smile. Let's go look at them. Okay, the train's coming behind me, hence the noise. But here, here's Blitzen, here's Donner, here's Cupid, right there. And we got Comet, and we've got Vixen. There's That looks like Santa behind him there. And then we have Prancer, Dancer, Dasher, and the most famous of them all, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And, and we're right here at the train. <laughs> They're all looking at the deer. <laughs> yeah, and, and the two uh, people with the cameras. Yeah, they're like, what are they doing? Now, here is the line to board the J&J &J Railroad. That's the name of the train that goes around the park. And it stretches all the way back there currently. So we're gonna walk around the park and hope that that line gets a little smaller by the end of the night. But we are definitely going to try to attempt to jump on the train. Now looking back at the Christmas tree, it just it just looks so awesome out here, doesn't it? It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. And now the area with the old timey cars is all lit up. Check out the snowmen, the snow people family out there. So this car is going by. <laughs> Looks like a good time. And y'all might remember Phil and Phyllis over here. Their area is all decorated up. Looks awesome. There's a, there's a white tree next to the left, right across from Phil's bat there. I like the white Christmas lights. And over here is a turtle twirl. All illuminated up as well. Yeah, this definitely looks a whole lot cooler at night. The turtle twirler. And right beyond the Bubbles the Dragon roller coaster, there is a decoration up here. Look, it's Bubble himself, and he's got a magic bubble wand, and he's waving, and his tail's a wagon. Some of his lights are out, though, up above his head below the crown. And cool to see that they uh, covered the covered bridge with icicle lights. It looks awesome, and if you look beyond the bridge out there, Oh, I see something cool coming up really soon. Oh, this looks awesome. Look at this synchronized light forest. This is awesome. There's so many trees out there. And up there, look at the snowflakes. Move down a little bit so you can see the trees right there. The trees below the trees. And the castle, it looks amazing. 
Think about all the work that went into this entire event, but just right here. Yeah, whoa. You would, you would never know it's there. You would never know it's there. Nobody else cheers at the lights. Nobody else We were the only ones that we cheered. The only ones. They're like, yeah, we've been here before. And back over here below the lighthouse, kind of reminds me of the lighthouse out of front of SeaWorld a little bit, but there is a fountain where the fountains are normally here at the water park. I'm definitely getting aerial vibes. Little Mermaid. It is now 545 according to that clock. 545. Okay, making our way around the park still to see all the lights. This is one of my favorite parts so far with the water, these, and the Christmas tree. We're heading over this way. We are now where the Alice in Wonderland area was. There's the there's the tea party teacups. And right over here is where the Alice in Wonderland trail was. And the labyrinth. I just wanted to show you what it looked like over here. Some butterflies right there on top of this display. Or one giant butterfly. And if you remember the Jack and the Beanstalk ride, this sits right in front of it. This is actually it. The little snowman and the elf. They're trying to keep warm. Now, I didn't capture these during the day, but right here at night, among the peacock exhibit, there's peacocks in there. I didn't, I didn't capture them, but there's a peacock. And a giant wreath right here. You walk right through it and it's singing. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas currently. Sweet. Here we go. And the old woman's shoe is looking very snazzy right now. Very snazzy. And it's good to see that the drop ride is still dropping over there. I believe that's the mouse trap ride. Or TikTok mouse, I believe. I forget the name of it. Something like that. She's like, yeah, I think that's it. Shaking her head. And I didn't realize that the shoelaces are now illuminated as well over here on the side or the front the old woman's shoe. Well, for as crooked as he is, the old man decorated his crooked house very well. Good job, crooked man. That tree looks magnificent from every angle. I think we've pretty much seen it from every angle. Now, for a couple of days from now, there's probably gonna be real snow yeah, out here. Yeah, there probably I keep thinking we're in Florida for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm like, oh yeah, yeah snow. It might actually snow. Yeah, it feels like it could snow right now. So what do you think of this place? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I know, right? Yeah, just been, gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I've been to a lot of Christmas events. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you, like, yeah. what do you think, like, comparatively to everything that you've seen? This is it's gotta be in my top this year. Yeah. It's, if not my my best, my favorite one. Yeah, it's I, definitely. It's definitely. Yeah, let's just say it. It's, it's in first right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorites. What's that, Mr. Penguin? You agree with me? What? It's about time. Walking past the work zone. Look, decorated like the Home Depot in orange lights. That's appropriate. But we're at the tail end of the J&J &J train ride. The train right here. And the line hasn't moved. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. Get in it. And we'll see how long this goes. Or how long it takes. What time is it now, do you know? It is 602. 602, so let's see how long it takes us to get on that train. And according to the sign over here, J and J Railroad was established in 1996 here at Storybook Land. All right, Chris. All right, you made it. You did good, all right. And I made it too, I'm way up here. It is now 647, exactly 45 minutes. And we will be getting on this train right here. It's the same train it's always been. But it's our turn. And this looks like our spot right there. You picked a good one. Now this train was definitely made for kids. I'm, yeah, I'm barely, definitely. I'm barely in here. I'm like, I'm taking up most of the. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. We are very much squished in here. Yeah, squished is the word. And we have movement. Choo choo. The Mount Fern Scale model of an 1863 Pacific Northwest logging train. Built in 1964, this train has been completely restored by park staff and has been running here at Storybook Land since 1996. As we make our way around Storybook Land, you'll see the homes of many of your favorite Storybook characters and many exciting rides we have to offer. Since Storybook Land opened in 1955, it has been keeping the spirit of childhood alive through continuous updates and dedication to families like yours. We truly create memories we will cherish for a lifetime. Oh, this is so nice. 
Oh, there's the the forest over there we saw earlier. Yeah, the light show. Light show. And we're going underneath the bridge right now. Hey! Oh, that's fun. There's the light show. Bubbles the coaster. There it goes. Oh, there, there's a scarecrow, Elmer. The cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, now we're going inside the, the house. You wanted to see this. Yeah, I did. Most anticipated moment. Oh, we're going fast. Yeah, we are. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at this. A little caboose there. Storybook. Oh, it's another train. And there's the igloo. And the penguin falling off of it. And there's Robin Hood at night. In tights. And passing the old timer cars. And I believe right here, this is where uh, uh, Little Red Riding Hood was, right in there, the big bad wolf. Whoa, this looks so pretty, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, this the park is gorgeous. Has many changes over the right? years, yeah. but okay. some of Storybook's buildings have been here since the very beginning. One of these buildings, built by the park's founder in 1955, is the Little Red Schoolhouse, located in the front of the park, complete with antique school desks and a pot belly stove. Hickory Dickory Dock, it's time that you climb the clock. Tuck, clock drop, oh, look. Is a drop into its cover, which is one of the park's favorite attractions. That takes you over 40 feet and offers you a bird's eye view of the park. This is so pretty. Along the way. Oh, yeah, there's the tree. Right through the middle of the park. Here he is, Pinocchio. That's Pinocchio. Pinocchio. So, did you hear that? The park opened in 1955. Very interesting. Very interesting. 1955. We're passing the tree. Right there. And there's the sleigh ride. Oh, that is so good. And the work zone ride. Coming through. We are now approaching the station in the end of our I want to thank you and enjoy the rest of your day here at Storybook Land. Hello again, Mother Goose. Looks like there's a train up there on the roof behind you. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. And just like every roadside attraction, or every theme park I've been through, you exit through the gift, the gift shop. Through the gift shop. And here we are on the outside of Storybook Land, right where we started. And look at the castle now, all lit up the toy soldiers and Santa and the eight tiny reindeer and Rudolph right there up front you can see you can make out his little red nose okay everybody if you enjoyed this video do me a favor give it a thumbs up right down there I hope you had a good time I had a great time out here hanging out with Chris storybook land it was on my bucket list of theme parks and I never thought I would come up here this soon I never thought I'd be here for Christmas, and I, I tell you what, it's the best time to come up here to Storybook Land. Seems it, like it. Seems like it. it. It was very magical in there, very classic Christmas, a good time. I had a great time with you, and um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to check out Chris's video. Give it a thumbs up as well. I'll put a link uh, to her YouTube channel in the description below, and I'm just so grateful for the opportunity to be up here this weekend. Um, hanging out with you and you know just hang and documenting our, our experience putting it out there and I hope everyone watching uh, enjoyed it your experience too I hope they enjoyed your videos as well she, well she, thank you for coming along with me like I, I really appreciate that uh, so. <laughs> you're welcome my pleasure it was a great time so yeah we're gonna end it right here it's cold yeah and uh, it looks awesome out here doesn't it just can't get over how amazing this theme park is storybook land classic 1955 and uh i'll tell you what if you come out here make sure you come early because the parking lot fills up pretty fast and also make sure you get in line for that train uh pretty early so all right i'm rambling <laughs> we're gonna end it i said before i fired this up what did i say i was like i'm gonna make this a short yep yep, yep. And five minutes later five minutes here later we are. <laughs> all right know you're awesome Know your love, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays, but always know that there's much ahead. Back in Tampa, Florida, 
and beyond as you can see there's always much ahead anywhere and everywhere and especially here tonight all right all right okay i don't know how to end it i don't know what should i do should say goodbye goodbye yeah okay that's always a good way to end it that's bye. how i do it yeah that's how you do it yeah okay goodbye bye <laughs> yo philly i love you i love you philly i love that city i need to get back there soon Need to get back there. Crossing the Walt Whitman Bridge, I can see a rocky filming location from here. Almost two years ago, I was tracking down this location. Still with us. Just passing through. Don't even have time to stop for a cheese stick. So that would be good about now. <laughs> All right, bunch ahead, everyone. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Gotta catch a plane.